An unforced error is committed when a player is on balance, has time, and simply misses. The vast majority of points, up until very high level tennis, end in an unforced error. Even at the professional level, a huge amount of points end with a player being on balance and simply missing. Hi, I'm OTI instructor Jeff Lewis, and in this video, I'm going to give you three tips for reducing unforced errors and making more balls in play. Many players have a tendency to complicate strategy while neglecting the actual reason they're not winning. They're simply missing too many balls. The prevalence of these types of errors is why the dreaded pusher does so well in tennis. Just getting the ball back over the net and into your opponent's court is an accomplishment at any level in this challenging sport. My first and by far the most important tip for reducing your unforced errors is to look at your own fundamentals. You understand how to hit topspin so you can hit higher over the net and safely into the opposing court. Maybe your volley requires too much timing because of the manner in which you are executing it. If you find that a particular stroke is often the cause of your unforced errors, you should get it fixed. Any decent opponent can easily identify a major weakness and exploit it. Making changes in your game can be difficult, but if you like winning more than you dislike making changes, you'll make the change. All the great information and help you need on every stroke is right here at OnlineTennisInstruction.com. There's really no excuse to not have a solid understanding of all seven essential strokes. My second tip is to make your targets big. I'm often surprised when I tell a player to go set up a target cone and they place it directly on the line. Even when the pros hit the line, they're not aiming for it. They're giving themselves lots of room for error. Hitting the line is a pleasant surprise for even the best players in the world. Try always aiming for nothing less than 25% of the court in your next match and you'll most likely have a lot of success. Other than just aiming too close to the line, oftentimes a player will hit to a smaller target to avoid their opponent. You should always play to a big target you know you can make regardless of where your opponent is. Now, knowing what you know about the frequency of unforced errors, why not give them a chance to miss? Lastly, I want you to be boring with your shot selection. When in the defensive area of the baseline, hit 90% of your shots deep cross court. The net is lower and the court is longer. Don't play inopportune drop shots to avoid having to finish with a volley. Just play an approach shot deep. Nine times out of ten, you won't even have to play the follow-up volley. By learning to play each zone of the court to set up the next zone, you'll be on the receiving end of unforced errors much more than vice versa. See if you can implement any of these ideas in your upcoming tennis matches and you're sure to experience more success. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you soon. The serve is, of course, the most important shot in tennis, and because so many players struggle with it, we now started offering one-day serve clinics, and these serve clinics will break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics, click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.